Welcome to a brand new video where today, we dive into the world of intermittent fasting. This isn't the latest fad diet but rather, a time-tested health practice that's been around for centuries. Originating from ancient cultures, intermittent fasting has been used as a tool for physical and spiritual cleansing. Fast forward to today, and it's making waves in the health and fitness world. Intermittent fasting, at its core, is all about cycling between periods of eating and fasting. It's less about what you eat and more about when you do it. From the busy professional seeking enhanced productivity to the fitness enthusiast aiming for better performance, intermittent fasting has garnered a diverse following, and it's not hard to see why. The practice offers a unique take on traditional dieting, providing potential health benefits while allowing for flexibility in one's lifestyle. Now that you have a basic understanding of what intermittent fasting is, let's delve into why it's becoming a go-to health practice for many. Intermittent fasting isn't just a fad, it's backed by science. Here are some of the benefits you can expect. To start, let's talk about weight loss. When your body is in a fasted state, it switches from using glucose as its primary source of energy to using stored fat. This shift can result in significant weight loss as your body is effectively burning fat for fuel. Plus, restricting your eating window can naturally reduce your calorie intake, further supporting weight loss. Next up is improved metabolic health. Studies have shown that intermittent fasting can improve insulin resistance, lower blood sugar levels, and reduce inflammation. These benefits can be a game changer for people dealing with metabolic syndrome or diabetes, but the benefits don't stop at metabolic health. Intermittent fasting may also increase longevity. By reducing oxidative stress and inflammation, fasting can slow down the aging process at a cellular level. Some research even suggests that it can extend lifespan in certain organisms, although more studies are needed to confirm this effect in humans. And finally, let's talk about cancer prevention. While the research is still in its early stages, there is evidence to suggest that intermittent fasting may lower the risk of certain types of cancer. Some studies have found that fasting can slow tumor growth and enhance the effects of chemotherapy. Of course, it's essential to note that while these benefits are impressive, they're not guaranteed for everyone. Factors such as your overall diet, physical activity level, and genetic makeup can influence the effects of intermittent fasting. And as always, it's important to talk to a healthcare professional before starting any new diet or lifestyle regimen. Impressive, right? But how exactly does one practice intermittent fasting? Let's find out. Intermittent fasting isn't about what you eat, but when you eat. It's a pattern of eating that cycles between periods of eating and fasting. And the beautiful part? There are several methods you can choose from, so you can pick what best fits your lifestyle. First up, we have the 16-8 method. This involves fasting each day for 16 hours and restricting your daily eating period to 8 hours. Most people do this by skipping breakfast and eating their meals between noon and 8 in the evening. Next is the 5-2 diet. In this method, you eat normally 5 days of the week and drastically reduce your calorie intake for the other two days. You're not starving yourself, but you're limiting your calories to about 500 to 600 on those two days. Then there's the eat-stop-eat method. This involves a 24-hour fast once or twice a week. It sounds intense, but remember, you're not going without food for a whole day. You're simply stretching your fasting period from dinner one day to dinner the next. Each of these methods has its own benefits and challenges. It's essential to choose a method that aligns with your health goals and daily routine. Remember, intermittent fasting is a lifestyle change and not a quick fix. It's important to understand and listen to your body. It's not about punishing yourself, but rather, it's about finding a balance that works for you and your health. Intermittent fasting can be a powerful tool for health, but it's not for everyone. Remember, what works for one may not work for another. It's essential to consult with a healthcare professional before embarking on this journey ensuring it aligns with your health goals and lifestyle. Now we're curious to know which habit you will work on first. Will you give intermittent fasting a try? Please don't forget to subscribe, check our other videos, give us a thumb up and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Until the next time, stay healthy and God bless.